Right, welcome back. Last time, we conquered quite a bit of uh, Sumatra and took on a Chapahit as a vassal, though they've turned to a feudatory since. Their loyalty is suspect in general, but, well, improving. Uh, their opinion of me is improving over time. Just It'll take a while. It would definitely take a while. I've also declared war on France. Their navy's a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I'm gonna have some trouble dealing with them. I think I might need to expand the navy again. Okay, so it definitely needs... I need new transports again, that's for sure. I probably should get more setbacks in play. There's only so many easy spots to put them. Oh, well, spots where shipbuilding is particularly good. Thankfully for now I've got troops in all the important locations, so they shouldn't be able to do any heavy amounts of sieging. But still. I wonder if the, are they still busy with another war? Yeah, they're still busy with a war with England because well the colony wants independence. New England. Yeah. Not really much else to say, except Hooray! Yeah, this army's constantly taking damage and getting itself destroyed. Ooh, the atmospheric engine. Still way too early. Right, uh, atmosphere. Engine. Invented by Thomas Newcomen in 72. 72? Oh, wow, okay. Huh. Okay, I was not actually expecting that. Take this opportunity to steal some maps out for Portugal. I'd like to actually know what's going on in South Africa. Still not calling them colonizing the inland, but they do seem to have started. There, that's the whole of the Indian Ocean. Well, it's also some wastelands, like <laughs> the Desolation Islands. Oh, that's actual. Okay. Oh, it's a combat fleet. Gotta go with that one. Well, that was effective. 
I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but, but effective for sure. I do need to prevent them from de-sieging the promise, though. Well, maybe not that province, but the one that has all the war score, for sure. It'll be easiest to fight them by using defensive terrain, assuming they don't... Ah, okay. Then I don't have to de the province either. Might just be defending trait. <laughs> be a bit strange, but uh, okay. hope it's not too late for that stuff to work. But I do have a tenth merchant. Not sure if it's new or not. Doesn't seem to be new. Okay. I mean, does seem to be new. Doesn't seem to be one that was. It randomly vanished and then reappeared for no reason whatsoever. Hmm, there seems to be enough value here so that I can get a surprising amount of money just from collecting from trade no more. It also helps that I have access to one of the only trade centers. There's three of them, and sure, it's the least developed of them all, but I can probably make a good amount of money off of that. Of course, I have to play my cards right for that, but... Take this route. Nah, don't need your help. They're on yellow. Yes. It's because of length of war. I wonder if anyone's willing to just white piece, which will slightly weaken. The closest would probably happen to be... Okay, it's... Subjects aren't as affected. So, I'm going to focus on looking at... I think it's Genoa and Salzburg. leave this them off because while they make for convenient damage sinks I guess they're not very helpful it's really bad for morale and ships sake outside of heavy ships so Well, I captured one of my transports again. Back to repairs. Everything got damaged in the process of that. Enemies are sieging out. Oh, it's just that. Right. Suck like there. That was actually important. This guy's doing 16, which means I can demand a 20 ish war score. Assuming they don't have fierce negotiator or something. Yeah, I can demand 20. Obviously, I want all these provinces here, and that's already starting to look too much. <sighs> Why are these provinces so expensive? I even have claims on them. Oh. 
Right, so I don't, I can't use imperialism because trying to invade mainland France, metropolitan France, is bad. Just bad. As an idea. It's just way too strong to take on like that. No. I earned that much money in... Okay, previously earned that much money in a month, but it appears realm expenses have been rising, and I think that might have something to do with corruption. Military recruit. Jeez, army cut massive fairly quickly. I don't need that much manpower, so I'll lower the amount of manpower taxation I'm doing. Again. Again. Raised it because I thought it was not going to be enough. Nope, turns out it's more than enough. Oh, they're finally getting progress. They just needed shifts and to dump over 200,000 people on a single province. That might actually be bigger than the province's population. It is bigger than the province's population. Oh well, that's China for you. Hey, you're not... You're not just going to be allowed to flee. Oh, that's... Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I can actually take that on with just the 20k. I think I stack like them, yep. Well, that certainly helps. Now down to nine. There are other options like concede Mexico. Oh, jeez, fifty-four percent war score. That's a bit too much. Where are you headed? Juno is also willing to end the war. It puts France on... Huh. I can further lower relative strengths of alliances with a bit more work. just by taking down their fleet. Which I should be able to do with this. Ooh, loyalty. Aristocrat loyalty is something I'm willing to very willing to take. They are losing a lot of shifts, but so am I. Jeez. If I retreat, though, then I've definitely lost the battle and will lose war score.
Yeah, I should stop doing that. Uh, the whole plan reform. I did it twice in a row. And every time I do it, my corruption jumps by 10. Keep taking down their ships. Keep taking down a couple of mine too. Although it may just be more retreat. He, he's not retreating. It's getting sunk. Fine. What can I say? The French Navy is not something I can fight all that effectively. Just a bit too strong for me to handle. Wait. Right. They're all transports. Place the trash navy. Right now, where the heck is Basel? It's Mülhausen. Basel. <laughs> there it is. There's still Modena. Okay. You're next. Oh, you can just do it for me. That's the last of the separate peace deals I can do. And the sad thing is, all this is still too much. I guess I can drop Sunda, but even then... I mean, I could do the dumb thing and just send galleys over there in the hopes that... Uh, all the blockades would lower their enthusiasm, but that's really it. Well, not enthusiasm, but not just enthusiasm. But also give me more war score. There goes my stability. Joy. Nope, okay. So I'm going to have to drop something important. Okay, let's see war score. I gained 78 power projection. Okay. That wasn't exactly planned, but I'll take that for sure. Stick to the coastline, please. Huh, okay. Coral. And for the moment, soon the... Island of Sumatra is entirely mine. For the moment, I have no idea how long that's going to last because inevitably, much part's going to be hit by a. Well, something. That will inevitably make things worse. But the return of these provinces should, yeah, definitely lower the liberty desire. And has somewhat improved relations. Somewhat. Who need to fight them again if I want to get with the Philippines, and that's assuming no provinces are lost.
Okay, so. I can continue weakening the nobles. I hope that works, but I doubt it's going to get all that far. Um, how would reforms look? Open recruitment for examinations. Maybe, but that's the only one as far as I can tell. I need more state reach. Okay, so I just... Further expand the bureaucracy. Continue demoting greater nobles, aristocrats, whatever. Look at those state liberties. Promote their faction. And I've got most of that loyalty back. I don't need to do much more. I can just promote their faction yet again. Promote support of commerce. Performership devotion. Don't need other tribals. Fight for division. There we go. Okay. Right, now to handle tech. Um, I don't have any admin ideas, so... To spend admin points on. So, the Encyclopedia. In an attempt to disseminate secular knowledge, Denis Diderot began publication of Le Encyclopedia in 1751. The Encyclopedia was a collection of articles by Enlightenment scholars which included detailed descriptions of mechanics, philosophy, economics, farming, mathematics, and more. It, widely, it circulated widely in France and inspired others abroad. Admin efficiency plus two. Uh, let's finish exploration ideas. Fresh start. Solar chance plus 5%. And as a finisher bonus, trade range plus 10%. I'm not going to get colonial garrisons at all, so... Modern lighthouses for only 158 points. Yeesh. The ancients had built lighthouses, but few were built in modern history until ships began to cross the ocean. In 1696, the first of a new generation of lighthouses was built in order to prevent merchants from smashing into rocks in the English Channel. Own coast naval combat bonus plus 25%. Naval attrition no longer increases by staying out at sea each month. Trade range plus 130. Enables a bunch of new ship types, one of which is the East Indiaman. And the other is the frigate. Steering wheels! The, the first ship's steering wheel was introduced around 1703, replacing the extremely inefficient whipstaff. It allowed pilots to turn ships much more accurately than ever before. Ship durability plus 3%, may corrupt officials. Colonial range plus 200, trade range plus 100, naval morale plus 0.25. Now, the gunpowder commission, how much does that cost? 288. Okay, I can grab a, an idea, maybe two. Yeah, okay, two. Standardized payment. <laughs> Recover army morale speed plus 7.5%, and siege ability, but increased by the same amount. General purpose levies. Can I afford. Yes. Volunteer and enlistment mana cost minus 10%. Reinforce speed plus 15%. And gunpowder commission. With gunpowder a critical resource for any modern army, many nations built national gunpowder factories or established gunpowder commissions with vast budgets and laws designed to produce large quantities of the stuff. Siege ability plus 5%, artillery fire plus 1. Right, let's t just take down Simba. Institution of Service. Ooh, police force is now available. 
Land attrition minus 5%, manpower recruitment cost minus 10%, as a finisher bonus, prestige from land battle is 33%, and with industrial ideas, stability cost interval minus 10%. Right. I think I can drop the enforced religious law and... No, actually, I don't need to centralize the state, to be honest. Police force. Enforced religious law. What is a staff corps? Use that instead of aggressive policing, though that. Okay, judging by the number of separatist movements, no. <laughs> Probably not the best of options. It looks like it's gonna take some time to get my religion to spread properly across the various provinces, but I believe I have time to wait. So. They will pick up oscillating clocks. The problem of calculating longitude aboard ship was a tricky one that the British government set aside a large reward for any inventor who could come up with a way to accurately measure speed up aboard a ship. The biggest problem was accurately counting time. A Yorkshire carpenter named John Harrison made a valiant attempt at solving the problem in 1735 when he developed a clock based on counter oscillating beams that would not be affected by the motion of the ship. Ship trade power plus 2%, trade range plus under 20. Three deckers. Ships that could carry more cannons held an advantage in battle. So the arms race in the 18th century involved building increasingly taller ships that could hold more guns without making themselves larger targets or making themselves less maneuverable. The three decker was the pinnacle of this craft, able to carry over 100 cannons. Ship durability plus 5%, naval engagement with plus 5%, Naval round plus 0.25 enables three deckers for other people. I can't build heavy ships. Standardized notes. Promissory notes were each unique, set for a particular merchant for a particular amount on a particular date. As they became used more widely, they became mass-produced in standardized amounts. Instead of receiving a single note, a merchant might receive several smaller notes, which together made up the value of his trade. In this way, the notes became closer than ever to a system of actual money. Naval engagement with plus 1%, trade range plus 80, enables, well, Quebec frigates, that's the important ship, and also road and rail network, so pathing rank 5. And that's all the stuff that I have. Right. That's a new state, so state core, and there we go. I think this might be a good time to stop. Yeah, yeah, I've overrun several times in the past few sessions, so... Although I do believe I have, it's definitely shortened the years on the amount of time that I have passed this session. I blame the French. And I can very definitely do that, because... Simply put, the war with France took 13 years. I wanted to wait until I could get A, there, well, first off, get the war goal, the war score from the war goal maxed out. Which, by the way, was very helpful. It maxes out at 30. I had 40 war score at the end, approximately. I also wanted to get the war enthusiasm as low as possible via length of war. At the very least, low enough so I could white piece all of their allies. Yeah. It was a close fight pretty constantly. They never really bothered me much with military, with land army. They sent their navy a couple times, and a couple times they actually managed to smash my navy almost to pieces. Yeah, it was a close call several times, but I did eventually manage to get to the point where I could... where I can definitely say that I won. And even then I didn't get everything I wanted. 
managed to get everything off of Sumatra and almost everything in the Philippines, and also returned all of their cores. All of Macha Pond's cores that France took. So they lost this again, and this again, and this again. I need to integrate them fast, don't I? Problem is, I have to wait until their opinion hits a hundred. And that's going to take a few years. I'm also hoping to get these out of the way, because these little countries have fairly weak miltech, so they're going to be hit by expeditions fairly quickly. Yeah. Hopefully I can manage to do that. And hopefully Portugal ends up being forced to return provinces by Great Great Sia. The chances of that happening, yeah. I have also been um, fairly readily teching up, and I've been working towards getting more state reach. I definitely will have enough to get some new reforms through. I think all the, I think the last of the reforms require 80 state reach anyway, so. But I will continue to increase it. My corruption's also... The resting point is at an all-time low, thanks to the relative skill of the current ruler. 66% authority. <laughs> is quite helpful. I think I need to start focusing more points. I've also just finished standing army ideas, and I did select professional army ideas as my next idea group. Not sure what to pick up next. Um, possibly Empire? Maybe Humanist? I don't know. At this point, idea groups are mattering less and less. They're just some final buffs to try and get things going as far as possible. I've picked up a lot of merchants, so I've been expanding my trade network to better benefit myself. Including a plopping a merchant to collect over here. I'm not... I'm actually third on the list as far as trade powers, so that's actually a reasonable amount earned. Funny enough, over here in the Malacca Strait, I'm the only one that's sending trade over to, well, the coastal Burma node. The lower Ayer Yarwadi. Ay Yarwadi. It is a tough one to pronounce based on that Latinization. I haven't checked. I am sending it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Directing all the flow to the Malaccas will help. In theory, in practice, it looks like everyone's. Yeah. Anyway. I also sent some expeditions to the Pacific, so now I've got a little colonial nation here. Though the Pacific colonial nation can, for the most part, be ignored. <laughs> Outside of New Zealand. New Zealand tends to have at least enough territory to back a punch. Although even all of Australia isn't all that much. China's too stable for me to try to claim the mandate. Well, okay, they have a lot of war exhaustion, so they might start falling apart. Might. The simple thing is, even if I could try to push it, they're so freaking powerful with half a million troops. I have a direct land border with them, too. Sure, the... And there's also the fact that they have a few vassal states. Specifically, Diviet, which is very, very weak, and apparently has to spend the military in favor of saving money. And Ava, which I could say the same thing. I don't know why they don't even have troops, but they just don't. Oh, and they also have Tripura and Ikmongolus as feudatories. Tripura actually has a reasonable amount of troops. The Khanate, not so much. Still, that is half a million troops. Of which I only have four tech levels advantage of. Over. 
They also have quantity ideas, which makes them ridiculous. Standing army ideas, which... Yeah. And influence... Not influence. Grand army ideas. Oh, and fortification ideas as well. Also, I cannot see what... Yeah, it with M&T, there has been an adjustment made so that you cannot actually see the taxation policies of other countries. So I have no idea how... if they have conscription or not. They certainly have a lot of state reach. Heck, I can't even really see troops. Size, recruitment targets, spending... Okay, so they have conscription. <laughs> They have conscriptions. I definitely have better troop quality, but that's pretty much the only thing I can boast. They also have centralized military, so they probably actually... So they at least have better military organization than I do. At the very least. And there's no easy way to tell because those sorts of military buffs are not made readily visible. So can't see what their attrition amount is, at least not presumably. Okay, so they do have career soldiery. There we go. <laughs> And admittedly, they're busy fighting Portugal, which affects their manpower quantities. Oh, yeah. And the United States has formed. Say hello to Statesy, everyone. <laughs> they're a commonwealth, and their capital is in Richmond. Oh, and they apparently own Quebec, too. <laughs> so, you know. Although it is Southern English. It looks like they're trying to pick up and... Nope, they're sending industrialization to uh, Mexico. Well, good for them, I guess. Yeah, but I think I have gone on long enough. If it weren't for the fact that uh, subject nations cannot become great powers, I would definitely be rank 2 up until Iberia embraces an institution, assuming I don't get a massive influx of dev in between for annexing Madrapanet, which I do have quite a bit of dev, or new conquests over here. Ha! Huh. Okay. I've definitely gone on long enough. <laughs> right now I'm busy just fabricating claims in order to minimize corn costs. Okay. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye. I also have a massive amount of uh, power projection that will last a long while because conquer provinces off of France. There, now I'm done.